Break out the cheesesteaks and beer. We are live at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Evils. And this is a mean crowd, and they are looking for blood. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The New York Tyrants go up against the Philadelphia Evils. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho ho! Va 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 boom! to the races he's at the party and he just and then cats will give them a first down i don't know if they're his but he sure has a good set of hands and it's first and ten man what a hit that was Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> don't make any mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Defense 
Sold into a four yard pickup there. Third down and six. Ah, oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to Oh man, the offense called a murder ball. Jimmy passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. <laughs> Couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Third down and six. QB is saying his prayers. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pet. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Runs it for four yards. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Yeah. And it's
Saints, first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. Destruction in his path. Oh, nice hit. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And that'll bring up third and one. was reading him like a book. Like it was written. Oh, and he brings boom to the moon. Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live his... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. Yeah. He's coming out in the field now. First down and three. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he's running like a moose. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> Third and two. Bam! 
say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Second down in a lot. Revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Ah, uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What the is it? Second down and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and ten. Second down in a mile. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. And that'll bring up third and one. Something going here. And it's first and ten. And oh, with the brain scrambler. somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as literal as you think second down and seven
Third down and ten. Touchdown on that deflection. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what a minute. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. But a touchdown saving tackle. First down and nine. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they? And a hard run there picks up the first. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happened to be Brick's match stuck. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Or worse. Third down, and the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is.
The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and eight to go. Hot, hot one, eight. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabi blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten and he gets three yards on that run second down and seven Excuses for this QB. You just, you just. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. Hot, hot one. Hey guys, this isn't 
funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but seriously. I know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd have been fun to gamble with my own teeth. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he or any functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down, the side. defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. Hot, hot one. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, Green! Like a high cool! And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. Yeah, never had a chance, Glenn. Never had a chance. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Man, what a hit that was. Down. I 
seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is gonna have that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Thinking to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. The defender says, I don't think so. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as you. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The 20. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. The offense...
offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And that'll do it. Put a fork in and they're done. The Philadelphia Evils are officially out of bodies to bring to slaughter. It's a forfeit, folks. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it, so...